What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker review. And today I'm excited to talk about this shoe. Finally, we'll be adding these to my collection. Today we're talking about a shoe that I've been seeing in the stores recently. We've seen some really good colorways and I've mentioned it plenty of times that I'm looking for a colorway that speaks to myself. And if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you know we found it. Oh my God, what are these, bro? What the hell is going on? Now they're talking my speed, bro. You cannot tell me these P6000s are not fuego, bro. The Nike P6000, truly one of the new shoes coming back that we're happy to see. And the retail price of 110 bucks or 120 bucks, depending on the colorway, is definitely not bad. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this shoe, I did think it was pretty dope. I was attracted to the way it looked, but the colorways I was seeing just wasn't really speaking to me. I started to see them more on feet. I see how they could land and the different ways you could style them. And I was just really waiting for that colorway. And then I seen these at Nike the other day and almost lost my mind. I'm like, this is the colorway I'm talking about. This is something that he did that actually speaks to your boy. This shoe right here caught my eye because of that racer blue. These come in racer blue, black and white as the color scheme. You can see it has that racer blue base with the white and black accents. Actually gray is in here as well. Has a mesh base for a lot of breathability. And of course these were initially, or these are running shoes, but for people like me and a lot of people out there that are wearing them for comfort, these are definitely comparable to the Nike Zoom Vomero 5 but a better price point. So this is definitely a bang for your buck on this. And this colorway is one of a kind. Haven't seen them get this wild with the colorway since. Everything's been a little bit more subtle and softer, but this racer blue just really pops out at you. And it does go good with Dodger gear, Clipper gear, maybe even some cowboy gear, because it's like, like that blue and gray with the white. And everything about this shoe is just impressive. The way that they set this shoe up, you have potential to have some really good color combinations, as you guys can see on this shoe. Racer blue really pops, but then you have the white, the gray, and the black that just hits the shoe perfectly. You have a really comfort midsole, and these are a true to size fit, which is definitely exciting about this shoe. You know, the toe box can seem a little narrow, but when I tried it on, it fit like a glove, it fit perfectly. And I'm hearing both narrow and wide footers can go true to size on the shoe. But like I always say, make sure you check the shoe out, try it on before you leave the store to make sure you have the exact shoe size that you need to. We got P6000s and we got Vermeer 5s. Which one do you guys feel in a little bit more? Of course, give me the feedback. And it's a lightweight shoe because of all that mesh upper. You don't have a ton of tech on here to weigh you down at all. If you guys have seen this colorway in your area, let me know. I don't see a lot of places having this colorway here. Not sure if I was able to get this early or just certain locations have them and most locations don't. The white and blue laces is definitely impressive here. This is a shoe that I don't really think you need to do a lace swap because they got you. They came with a white base, but the tip of the laces are blue, that racer blue. So if you were thinking about putting white laces, you don't have to do that. If you were thinking about putting in some laces with racer blue, they got you already. I think black laces might dull it down a little bit more. So if you're looking for that, maybe you might want to put the black laces in it, but trust me, the laces that it came with is fire or maybe some all white laces, but that's just, you know, my style. It's all up to you how you want to style your shoes or not. Some key details about the P6000 is that these have a lot of Nike swooshes on them. Six Nike swooshes on each shoe. I don't know if you guys feel like that's overdrive or if that's just perfect. You have the toe box. You have right at the tip of the toe. Then you have, of course, on both sides of the shoe. Then you have two on the back at the top and at the bottom. I think that's a really dope touch to the shoe. A little hidden gem if you guys didn't know that. I don't think it's too much. I think it's just right. It fits right in with the rest of the shoe. Base of the shoe, racer blue. Sock liner, racer blue. Same thing when it comes to the insole. Here's a little visual of the insole. Very thin insole. Doesn't really give you too much comfort. It's really about the midsole of the shoe where all the comfort comes from. But uh, they executed this shoe perfectly. This colorway is on point. I want to see what's next. What does the red edition look like? Is it going to be all varsity red, university red? What color red will they use? I'm curious to see what colorways are down the line because there's just, it's self-explanatory. No crazy specs to talk about. I just want to talk about my love for this shoe and let me know if you guys like it. If you are looking for it, you might be able to find it on Nike.com. So in case you're new to the P6000, they come in a normal orange and white Nike box. Like I said, racer blue, white and black is the color scheme for this shoe. And I mean, this shoe right here, 
is very comparable to the my prestos man i'm not gonna lie to you of course both of them are in racer blue so which one did it better the pegasus or the p6000 of course but uh definitely a comfortable shoe of course these retail for 130 to 140 these retail from 110 to 120 depending i guess what colorway or where you're buying them from but two dope comfortable shoes from nike this is truly a classic this is a classic coming back i'm curious to see what it's going to be like for 2024 when it comes to the shoe give me your overall thoughts and opinions of this like i said you guys see the racer blue upper came with the white laces so it really popped if you guys were thinking about that for this one and if you have any suggestions or if you have any feedback on this p6000 go ahead and let us know in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video deuces